What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today, I'll be talking about the most genius YouTuber, Cooper2723, who managed to gain 297,000 subscribers and 17 million views just under nine months in a way that, honestly, we haven't seen before. Was it an accident? Is he a genius? Let's find out together. So first of all, who is Cooper2723? I first noticed him a few months ago when he made a video talking about how all the Amish people should be sent on an island. And the video was peculiar to say the least. Not only the nonsense that was being said, but also the quality of the video. It looked like something that was recorded 15 years ago. It was in a one-to-one -one ratio. The volume was terrible. The image quality was awful, but it was a recent video and everybody was shocked. Nobody knew if it was for real or the guy was trolling. Here's a little clip of it. Um, like, th like, let's just get rid of them. Like, America should just, like, kick them out, make them move to, like, some abandoned island or something. Since then, he removed that video off his channel, probably realizing that it doesn't make him look too good. But look at the rest of his channel. Look at the thumbnails, and this is obviously something you would expect to see on YouTube maybe 15 years ago. You know, we're talking about the top five rappers and 50 Cent is part of it. You know, Family Guy memes, just complete nonsense. This is the type of garbage you would see on YouTube in 2009 or 2010. If you see at the top right, he's talking about new console leaks and he's showing what could have been a PS4. So he's obviously trying to live in 2010 and it made him sort of a meme. Take a look at his biggest video, Why Racism is Bad, 2.4 million views. Watch this. Hey guys, this is why I think racism is bad. Um, number one is that if you're not racist, you probably have a lot of friends or even uh, black friends or Mexican friends because you're not racist. But if you're racist, you can only have white friends. So then only uh, so the people who aren't racist have more friends. Um, number two is that um, if you're racist, it's not good because it would make uh, the black people or um, the other people sad. Number, uh, number three is that we're all the same on the inside except for girls because they're not the same as boys. Number four is that, um, if you're racist and you say that to someone, they'll probably get mad at you and that's why you don't have that many friends. The, the, uh, number five is that um, uh, it's because if you're racist, you know that's not good. So then why don't you just, um, not be racist? This is why I think people, this is why I think racism is bad. So we can all agree that that was a garbage video and nobody would watch that unironically, but that doesn't matter. A view is a view. It doesn't matter what the intent was, you're still getting the creator some money. And it really shows in his analytics. Here, take a look at this. On Social Blades, it says that according to the last 28 days, he makes $20,000 per month. And I know that to be semi-accurate because I have a couple YouTube channels and you have to take the upper end of the amount and that will give you a rough idea of how much money the YouTuber is making per month. Now, is this a viable strategy for the future? Usually memes don't really stay alive that long and you can already see that his views and subscribers is declining, but that's still a lot of dough for a kid his age that just basically puts out garbage videos. Take a look at his growth because it was astronomical. So in August, he gained 208 subscribers and in September, 144. Now in October, he got noticed and gained 26,000 subscribers. Fast forward to November, 40,000 subscribers. And after that, he gained 121,000 subscribers in December, followed by 100,000 in January. 
Now, those numbers are completely insane, especially considering he's raking in about 6.5 million views in his top months. But will that last? Because obviously, as we know, memes are always passing. And the people that are the focus of the memes rarely make a lot of money off it unless they capitalize off that like Daniel Bregoli and the Catch Me Outside, then they can make actually a career out of their memes. But in this case, I don't know if that will happen because his views are already going down, his subs are going down, maybe the meme passed and the moment is gone. However, he still raked in a lot of dough because at 17 million views since he started his channel, if we estimate he has a RPM of $3, then that's about $51,000, which is pretty nice for a kid just being a meme. Now, if you look at his recent videos, they're very consistent. The views are not doing that good compared to his older videos, but it's very consistent. He makes sure to put spelling mistakes in every single title and uses old technology to pretend like he's still in 2009. Now, if you go to his about section, you will find a lot of links that once again are all in line with the meme persona. And unfortunately, I did the mistake of clicking on his SoundCloud. And this is what I found. Yo. Yo. Shout out to my grandma. <coughs> yeah. I have a lot of money and a lot of friends at my school and on the internet. And I, I'm really good at, at video games. At my school, I play cool math games. And I'm really good at everything I do because I'm just super rich, unlike you. Like I said, the guy is a total joke. I mean, this is one of the most awful rap I have ever heard. I cannot even pretend sarcastically that this is remotely good. But anyways, it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you do it. This guy got more subscribers than I could get in a year, even on my main channel, by tenfold. So he must be doing something right. Now, I don't think it's going to be sustainable, though. I think that this type of meme-worthy videos is going to last for a couple more months and then it's going to die down. But it's a great stepping stone in the right direction here on YouTube. Let me know in the comment section, do you guys think that this was intentional or was it accidental? I personally think that he thought all of this through and he did this on purpose and the success is well warranted. Now, before we wrap up the video, I just want to show you his clip of the top five black people in his opinion. Check this out. And on the internet and I, I'm really good at, at video games. At my school, I play cool math games and I'm really good at everything I do because I'm just super rich, unlike you. And I'm really good at everything. And you're not good at anything, but I am. And I'm gonna be the best rapper. And I'm really good at being a rapper. And I don't have a girlfriend, but I don't need a girlfriend because all they do is take my money. And I have a lot of friends on my Roblox. So what you witnessed was pure cringe garbage, obviously, but there's actually a method to his madness because it garnered over 660,000 views, which is insane. Just crazy, crazy numbers. Like I said, I don't think it's going to last, but it's still very impressive. Let me know what you think of this YouTuber in the comments section. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and I'll see you guys on the next one.